Hey Saber fans, Tony here from Run Sabers, and today another install review for you. If you're new to the channel, I do install, repair, and review these sabers, so please like, comment, and subscribe. Now I do have a secondary channel called Broninecast, where me and my editor Jeremy talk about more than just Star Wars. We talk about Marvel and DC and any type of movie or show that's coming out, so definitely go check that out. We have a few videos up there already. Um, without further ado, let's get to the video. So this is a Parks slash Korribath Episode 1 Obi-Wan, so this is their... Oh, I guess OWK. So Obi Wan is lightsaber from Phantom Menace slash Episode Two. It has different pieces you can config as well um, to change it up for Episode Two. But this customer wanted it as Phantom Menace uh, configuration. Now, with I've done several of these before. This is my third one I think I've installed for this. So the install itself was pretty simple. Um, the one problem I came across that was made it a bit more difficult for install was um, all the threading was locked into place. There was no way for me to kind of take it apart like it was supposed to, um, which made it hard for me to install it um, like the previous savers. Now this has a, um, of course, profi board installed uh, running 5.9 has a 24 millimeter speaker. This is chassis came from Shimino's workshop from on Etsy, so definitely go check it out. Um, you got 2.1 recharge port. You've got profi board and SD card access. And then if you you know take the cookie out, you have the stuff. It's running one button um, SA 22C's one button mod. Um, I did ha was able to use the original button. Usually I switch them out, but um, I was able to use this button, so it's very nice tactile. -y. You've got normal NeoPixel connector in there. And then you've got a one inch blade. Um, usually when I install these, I usually do a seven eighths inch blade, but this is a returning customer and he already has a one inch blade installed on his Luke Skywalker V2. Um, that video is up, so link in the description if you wanna go see his first saber by me. Um, this has, um, he wanted the same exact fonts as my original episode one Obi one lightsaber. So without further ado, let's show you off the fonts. All right, so those that have seen the video before, uh, like this before, it has uh, gonna go through the same exact fonts, same styles as what the customer wanted. So I'm just going through those and making sure. Of course, this is having more features because the last video I, I installed it, but like 5.8 or something. This one has 5.9, or yes, like older OS system. This one has all the new features, so I'll demo those as well. So first up, this is K Sith's TPM Obi with mixed um, ignitions and force effects from um, Juan Sith's TP, um, TPM Obi. So, or episode one. So, light blue. Holding Clash for lockup. Hold and twist for force effects. You were right about one thing, Master. The negotiations weren't short. Master, destroy it. There we go. And then this has the opening track from episode one. So yeah, a lot of fun. So, lightning block, you double tap and hold. Then for color changing, you want to tilt your blade down and hold and twist. Have that little cool little beacon sound. And then you can rotate to whatever color. Let's do Qui-Gon's color. Then you want to hold to lock it into place. It's one bluish green. But yeah. And for multi-blast, which I'll show you real quick, you hold and swing. Give you a false blast, and then you can just without hitting any buttons. To get out of it, hit once more. So, got the melt feature as well. You can increase the heat or not. So, yeah. Next up. This is the same font, um, but different track and different force effects and stuff on it. Um, this is supposed to be the Duel of the Fates or the battle between Darth Maul and Obi. So. Has the full nine minute track on there by K Sif. Um, it's a cinematic version, it'll go through the entire thing. It's very, very nice. Turn that off real quick. And then you got a darker blue on this one. Got a lot of force effects for episode one in the, in the battle. So, Maul gets sliced. On death. I believe you have a force push in there too. Next up, 
This is Juan Sith's um, Attack the Clones font, but I put a rain blade on there, and it has the Django versus Obi Wan track on there. So you can see the rain a lot better here. Rain spark. This is uh, another Attack of the Clones uh, font, um, but this is the Genoshin Arena battle on him versus Dooku. And so, this has the Arena track on it. Not the Arena track on it, it has the Anakin versus Obi Wan track on it. Or Anakin, not Anakin. Obi Wan versus Dooku font. I'm so sorry. So. This is the same font by Juan Sith, but again, different tracks. Clone Wars inspired font because this lightsaber was used in Legends during the Clone Wars era. Um, Obi Wan kept it for a bit. Um, I decided to put um, a Clone Wars inspired font on here. This is Light by K Sith, but I have some Clone Wars Force effects and stuff on there. Lighter blue as well. This one has a Clone Wars track on it. So yeah. Of course you have the passive battery monitor on this because it is the last font in the progression. And then you're back to the beginning. Check it out, Corporal. We'll cover you. Roger, roger. So that includes the install for the ODWK. I hope the customer enjoys it. I hope you enjoy it. Have a wonderful day, and may the Force be with you.